Hi everyone. <clears throat> okay, so the wee folder that I made yesterday, I asked you guys if you would like to see a tutorial and a lot of you said that you would. So I'm going to do that today. So it's really easy. Um, as I said yesterday, I don't have any file folders, so I thought, right, I'm just going to make my own. So what I made it from was a sheet of A4 craft card. Um, now this one is it's, it's quite thin, I would say this is about 160, so not the thickest um, card, just because I'm going to line it with paper and stuff and I wanted it to be quite bendy so that it was, you know, less like an actual card and more like a folder. So, sorry I'm just cleaning, I noticed I've got something under my nail there. <laughs> there we go. My nails are in an absolute state, guys. Anyway, please ignore them because they've still got picked nail varnish on them. Anyway, I'm blathering. So, folder. What I'm going to do then, some wet glue. I need to pop up to the range, actually, and get myself some more glue because I desperately need it. So, I'm just covering this whole sheet. All the way around the edge and glue. And then I've got a sheet of my coffee dyed paper. Now, obviously by making this, you can make it any colour you want. You could you don't have to do it in the craft card. You can do it in your patterned card stock. And um, you can do it in coloured card stock. This is just the colour I'm doing it in because it's a vintage style that I made so but you can adapt this to absolutely any colour or any patterned card that you want so I've just popped that on there just smoothed it down and then all I'm going to do is along the top edge is tear off roughly about half an inch it doesn't have to be precise honestly just go with what you think so i'm just tearing it along the top and i don't want too much of the brown showing so just a little bit so i'm just doing this totally by eye that and then just tidy it up a bit take off any bits you think are too big or that you're not keen on so roughly like that and then get rid of this excess so the next thing I'm going to do is fold it and I want to be able to fit in quite a lot on the inside um, like you see the pockets and things like that and I want this to be quite wide so you're just really however wide you would like it so this one <clears throat> for example we'll just go over the same so this one is folded at about four and a quarter so we'll go over the same as this one that one I didn't measure, but I just went with what I thought. But for this tutorial, we will fold it from the right hand side at four and a quarter. Okay. And then this side, you're just going to flip it in. Like that. So, that's created your wee folder. Super easy. So, from your A4, tear the top. Fold it in on your right side at four and a quarter and then you're just folding that back in and I've not totally, I've left a wee gap there because it just makes it easier to close when the bulk's inside it. So then, on the front, now I'm just, sorry if this is a bit bitty, I'm just checking um, what I've done here on the front. 
because I really want to make it quite the same. Okay, so first things first, what I did was take my ink. Now I'm using the Vintage Photo Distress Ink. I'm going to take this white card out just now because I didn't want that to get covered in ink. And just going round the edge, just vintage it up a bit, make it a bit more grungy. Open it up. Now I'm using vintage photo, obviously you can use whatever ink you like. Totally just grunging it up. You see I'm not being very um, precise or anything, you just, I'm just really wanting to add. I don't even know if this will show up on camera, but it does show up in real life. And then with the actual ink pad, I like the effect this gives because it makes the edges, can you see? look a bit burnt and old so all the way around down the creases as well and also open it up and do it on the inside because it looks nice Fold back your creases. And just hit it on the inside just a wee bit. And then ink. Okay. So, at this point... You want to, although we stuck, although we folded it this way, we want to make, I want to put the paper on my outside. You don't have to, if you don't want to, you can have it on your inside. But I'm going to refold it and have this on my inside. No, I'm not. I've done it differently this time. Right, okay. You, with this one, sorry guys, this tutorial is a bit rubbish, but with this one, I've got my paper on the outside, which I quite like actually. Well, you could still have it on the outside, but it means you would have to have your opening flapping it that way instead of the other way. No. No, we'll just stick to it. So we'll just have this on the inside this time, which is fine. So refold it down. Okay, so slightly different this time because we've got the paper on the inside, but it's alright. So then the first thing that I did was take a glassine bag, a little glassine bag, and I'm going to fasten that onto the front, like that. So before I fasten it on, I want to stamp on the word Precious Memories. Now you're gonna have to do this guys, you can decorate it any way you like. But I'm gonna go through this. You can skip any of the bits that you think, oh, I'm not really interested in that, or I would do that different. But I'm gonna stamp on Precious Memories and keep it the same. So I'm just using Stays On because I'm obviously stamping onto a slidey surface. You can see it's a wee bit smudged, but that doesn't worry me. So I've done that and that's going to go on there. So let's bring back in the white sheet so you can see what I'm doing. Wet glue. And I'm just putting that around the, you don't need a lot because it's really light. The glue is running out. Okay. And I'm not going to put it right to the top. I'm just going to leave maybe a wee centimetre like that. So you can still see the torn edge. And pop that down there. Which I think is pretty cute. Now, before I do the rest of the front, what I want to do is get another sheet of A4 paper 
and this time I made a card here now this is this bit on the inside okay so it's going to go on the inside of your page and this card is four by six okay so I want my paper to fold in behind that so what I'm going to do is put this here at the bottom and then fold the top of the A4 over like that so it's the same size as the card you can see like that and then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to fold my paper with my card underneath on top like that and then I just want to make sure yeah so you're going to have it folding in on itself and then folding in on itself again so you've made like a wee booklet like that so when you open it that's what you've got so then I'm just double checking guys what side that I've put this on yeah so I've, I want to put that on here so you want your biggest side to stick on area like this okay so your A4 sheet this bit here you're going to stick that on to the back of your card so if you open your A4 sheet you'll have your middle piece that you folded your piece on the right and your piece on the left will be smaller so the piece on the right that's larger is the piece that's going to go on to the back of the card sorry guys i had to pause for a wee second there um you know what i'm like because I, because i felt like it was getting really bitty i was getting a bit panicky so sorry about that okay um this tutorial if it's rubbish just switch off anyway so what we're going to do i've managed to find this bottle with some more glue in it and we're going to go down and glue the whole right hand section of the A4 paper and then here now you can see I've just decorated this with collage and the reason I'm not showing you doing this is because you can make it any theme you like obviously if you're doing it in pinks and things unicorns mermaids whatever you want so this is just a 6x4 card that I've decorated up in vintage style and I'm going to stick it onto the back of that A4 paper so when it opens up that's what it's going to be like. You've got your card on the front, your middle piece, and then this piece to the left. So then what we're going to do is stick this into the folder. So bring the folder back in. And this is going to go, when you open it up, it's going to go on this side here. Okay, so the left hand side. So you want to open up your paper. And that is going to go like that when it's opened up, okay? So roughly line up your card like that. Take a pen and just mark underneath, just underneath the top of the card. And that is just to give you a glue line. So I know that I'm not having to put glue here. I'm just going up to my pen mark down to the crease all the way along and all the way up and then with it folded down right down to the bottom and to the crease like that and then make sure that it does close and just push that down like that so when you open it at the front you'll have your paper showing in your bag okay and then on the inside this is what it's like so if we close that back up we're going to go back to decorating the front again now 
I had some of this beautiful sticker trim that um, Sylvia sent me so I'm going to put a piece of that right across the front including over the front of the paper so I'm going to just tear a piece and I'm going to pop that about there so take the back a minute I'm just going to trim it down roughly like that so you could have this anything you like you could have another piece of coloured card or patterned card just cut down to size or you can decorate it any way you like but this is just the way I've done it and I'll give you the measurements of this sticker in case you do want to use a piece of paper or card in the same way so I'm popping it all the way across right across like that and the measurement for this is it's two inches so if you wanted to cut a piece of two inch card or paper right across so that is that then I have one of these little envelopes this one these ones are from Aliexpress they're really pretty and you could make these yourself they are just under three by three and three quarters so if you've got the envelope scoreboard you can make that if not if you didn't have any little envelopes you could just make this part a little pocket I'm going to stick this wee envelope on you could only you could if you wanted to you could only glue this on three sides and make this into another pocket but I'm going to glue the whole thing down now before I actually stick it directly onto there what I've done was stick it onto a piece of card and this is just to really reinforce it so I've got another piece of craft card that I'm just actually right, I'm going to stick it on to about there right way around Sam to about there because the reason I didn't stick it right to the top is because I want to tear it along there tear it down the side and then tear it round the bottom like that and that's just aesthetic really you don't have to do that and again all I'm going to do is take my ink pad and burn it around the edges okay so then this is going to sit on the bottom of the glassine bag like that Again, you could leave this open and make it another pocket if you wanted to, but I'm not on this occasion. Okay, so that is going right to the edge and going there. Oh, sorry guys. So then you have your little envelope and... I just distress as I'm going along because it saves me having to go back at the end and remember where I have distress and haven't distressed so I'm just going to add in my ink just now like that then I'm going to decorate this piece so I have I'd like to put a piece of lace I've just got this crochet trim here and I'm going to pop that there just roughly cut it to size and I'm using this fabric glue but you can use whatever fabric glue you have or use a hot glue gun I actually have been to the range twice now to try and get this again and it, they haven't had it so I'm going to have to go a bit further afield I think because it's absolutely brilliant that was only £1.49 that glue and I've just about used it all and it's amazing for sticking fabric into journals and things so I've done that then I'm going to grab three vintage buttons let's see what we've got we've got that one that one and that one so we'll go with that 
and I'm just going to use my hot glue gun which I haven't pulled in yet I thought I had but it's an old plug so unplug oh my gosh I need to stand up guys I can't do that with one hand right let my glue gun heat up so while that's heating up, we'll do something else. I'll just pop the buttons to the side and I want to put another piece of lace across this envelope. There, I'll just roughly cut where we need. So all this stuff um, is just for ideas. Obviously you will decorate yours whichever way you like it. And then here I want to have something, so I've got the Tim Holtz ephemera that I bought. Obviously you can choose whichever ephemera you have handy. And I really like this piece here. So I'm going to pop some glue on the back. I like mixing the vintage florals with the vintage um, ladies and images. It just, I don't know, it looks nice. So I'm going to pop this underneath the lace and underneath the envelope and just pop that there. Like that. I think that looks cute. Then I want something for on here, just a wee bit of ephemera, a wee bit of something. So I've just got a wee off cut piece of paper here. This was card that was sent to me. Um and we'll just tear a wee bit of this off here and you see it's got like the vintage script and I'm going to go in with my distress ink and vintage it up, take the white off burn it up a bit and then that's going to go on there, like that, just an extra wee bit, and then I also have this metal piece that I'm going to put there, but I'll need to wait till my glue gun heats up, so let's see how far we've got, I want to put a piece of pom pom trim down the bottom, and again, I've got this peach things. I'm actually going to come on and do, I'm waiting on more of that coming and I will show you guys. It was from AliExpress, but I'm going to use a piece of this light green pom-pom trim along the bottom. So just roughly measure it and cut it off here. And fabric glue. Maybe that can go yeah so that's looking cute i like how this is looking now to me it's really quite brown so and i like that but i've got the aged mahogany the stress ink i'm just going to go in and use a little bit of the aged mahogany just on some of the edges to bring in a little bit of sort of burnt ready color just because i think it looks nice It just warms the whole project up, I think. You see, just adding that wee bit of red, a wee bit of mahogany. So, and then in this pocket here, I'm going to add a tag, if I can find them. I've got these pre-made tags that came from B&M, but you can obviously make your own tags to fit whatever size bag you've made or pocket you've made and I will decorate that up but just to show you guys I would take off just something on that a bit of glue take off the tag uh, the string that comes through it and I'm just taking this jute string that I got from the range and replacing that 
with this sort of natural coloured one because I think it matches the vintage. So I'm going to pop that in there. And once I've finished, I would stencil that up and decorate it up and things, but you don't need to see me doing that. Right, how's my glue gun doing? I think we have got enough. So I'll take my three buttons and I'm going to pop that one there. That one there. And I'm not centralising them, I'm just sort of having them to the left hand side. That one there. And then my metal piece. And that's going to go there. Okay, so that's the front, which I think was pretty cool. So then, inside, okay, inside, I'm wanting to put a wee piece of ephemera here, but I'm going to bring in my stencil. Now, I'm using this stencil. You guys can use, obviously, whichever stencil you want, and I'm just going to go in with some ink. And put a wee bit of stenciling in and it just takes away the blankness and I'm going to do this all over the front over the envelope and over the glassine bag you see and it just takes away that bareness I don't know if it's showing up to you guys but it will obviously when you're doing it at home so then I want a little piece of ephemera up here and I just want a sort of a small butterfly or a small flower, something like that. You'll know it yourselves when you see it. There, I'm going to use butterfly and that's just going to go there. Keep picking up that wrong glue again. Okay, so I'm just going to pop this wee guy here, like that. Alright, now the paper that's inside here, I'm going to stencil it really roughly. And I'm using the same stencil throughout just to match it in. Open up the top bit and stencil that as well. Total random, but it adds. It keeps it all together, if you know what I mean. Okay, so let's go to this page now. Okay, so this page, I want the person, once they flip up, flip flops, I want the person to be able to write on the back of this. So because I messed up and put the paper on the inside, I'm just going to tear a piece of my coffee dyed paper and put that on the back of this page. Again, you could use patterned paper, you could use vellum, you can use card, you can put it up any way you like. I'm just going to use this coffee dyed paper here. Put that down. And then to tie it in, stencil. Stencil it up and then add on some ink. Just make sure this is glued right to the edge. Okay. I'll just grunge it up a bit. Okay, so then I've made another card. Again, you guys can do this whichever way you like, decorate it, but I've just done it in the vintage style. And this card is <clears throat> five and three quarters by four. So I need to make a little hinge attachment to attach it on. So what I'm going to do 
to take a piece of um, craft card, just about an inch and a half I would say, and I just want it the same, roughly the same size as the card and width. So here, and I'm going to fold it in on itself, like that. So it's just making this little hinge and I'm going to attach it onto the back of the card. Onto the top, like that. So that when it opens up, you've got this wee hinge piece. And then on the back of it, I'm going to glue it. Make sure you put on plenty of glue because this has got to be strong. And then I'm going to stick that there. Like that. So when it opens up, you've got a wee hinge. Like that. And then on this piece here, on the hinge, all I'm going to do not to hide it, just to kind of decorate it a bit. I have somewhere. Okay, this isn't the washi I was looking for, but I've got this script washi, so that'll do it sort of vintage style as well. We'll just take that and tear a piece off and put that on there, like that. Then for the top flip, what I'm going to do is make a, just a wee flip up piece of paper, an extra wee writing spot. So I'm going to tear down again. Fold it in half. And that's going to go on there. So glue the back. Pop that on there, like that, and to tie it in again, stencil like that, and on the inside of it as well. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to just decorate it a little piece of ephemera. Okay, I've got a little card that I made. I'm just going to pop that on the front. So this can obviously be any ephemera that you have and that you like. I'm going to pop that there. Like that, and then I've got these beautiful butterflies. I've got these beautiful butterflies that Debbie Harris sent me. So I'm going to put one of these on like that. So then that gives you your little flip up that you can write on as well. Let's pop this out the way. And here, I think that looks quite blank, so all I've done on the other one was rip another piece of paper and just pop that on the side. Like that. And just trim it off. In the back. that take your stencil lightly stencil over it and sort of grunge it up a bit and then I'm taking another piece of ephemera and I'd like this one it's just the uh, daisies 
and I'm going to just add a wee bit of glue and that's going to go there like that and that's my top flip and I'm going to take my stencil and just stencil over some of the card just to tie it in again just a wee bit on the edge okay so that's that piece so if you guys have made it this far into the video oh I don't know how you've done it <laughs> I'm sorry about this being such a bumbling. It's because I had such a bad night last night. And when I get anxious, guys, it's hard for me. But thank you for sticking with me. And as a thank you, this is going to be a wee secret giveaway. Or a hidden giveaway, as they call it. So, what I want you to do is, in the comments, don't mention hidden giveaway. I just want you to say who you would make one of these for and whoever I pick out in a couple of days I'll only leave it open for a day or two um, will win this one I will totally finish decorating it up and send it out to the winner okay so on this page so just tell me in the comments who you would make one of these for but don't mention hidden giveaway I don't know how many people have made it in this far because this is probably one of the worst tutorials that I've ever done but if you have you can definitely win this so in this inside piece, I want you to be able to write here. Um, in the original one, I had put in a die cut piece and then collage some bits up. But I'm not going to do that for this one. But I am going to do the little tuck spot. So I've got one of these Tim Holtz ephemera pieces. If you don't have one of these, you can just make your own little piece of card. In case you don't, obviously, need to make it the exact same. And I've lost my ruler. This drives me insane. Hold on. Okay, found it. So, this wee piece of card is about one and three quarters by two and three quarters. And all I'm going to do at the very bottom is pop one line of glue. Pop this to the bottom here. Like that. So that when it's dry, I can pop a decorated tag in there, like I did on this side. So you see, it's just the same, the piece of ephemera, piece of ephemera. It's just so that you can slip some goodies in there. And that is that side done. I will, mm, because I'm not doing it actually, because I'm not doing the... Um, the die cut up there, I will pop something else. I'm just trying to find something that I think would look nice. Hmm, maybe a bit big. We'll just go with another wee piece like that. But you could use washi tape in there or anything you like or even a die cut again. So I'm just going to pop that there like that and it still gives you journal and space. So that's that piece. Then open it up and actually, do you know what? We'll go to the back page first because this page is really easy. All I've got is a paper bag to go on like that. Now if you didn't have a paper bag, you could obviously make your own. Just double over a sheet of paper, glue down one edge and along the bottom and you've got your own wee bag. So this literally is going to go... I'm just going to glue it down all the edges. And pop it onto the back of the folder. Like that. This bag is slightly wider, but it doesn't worry me like that. If you wanted to, you can trim it down. But 
actually I might need to trim this one down because it's a different size to the other one it's slightly smaller so I'm going to trim it but you can either use a bag that fits exactly or make your own bag that fits exactly so open it up pop a little bit of glue down the inside Seal it back up. There we go. You would never know. So that's like that. I'm just going to pop a little bit of lace trim along the top of the bag. Fabric glue. Pop that on there. And then take a piece of this trim, that's a smaller piece put it along the centre and then take a vintage style button well, these are actually vintage buttons that I got from eBay a long while back a bit of hot glue and pop that in the centre there. For this bottom piece, a piece of card, and this one measures should be nine. Yep, yeah, nine by two and three quarters. And what I'm going to do is just grab my scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, guys, you can just do it. Um, with a ruler. Score it at three and score it at six. Just fold it in. Like that. So you're just making a little booklet. Like that. Now on the original one, you had these this sort of pocket like this and if you wanted to do that you could make your card a bit longer and then fold it in on itself to make the little pockets but for this one I'm just wanting it to be like an extra little journal in space so I'm going to pop that on there but first of all ink ink the edges this I love the effect because it the vintage photo goes really dark when you use it like this okay so I want this to be a pocket as well so I'm only going to glue it on the three edges so like that and like that pop that there so then you have your little opening and like I said, even if you wanted to, you could still add a strip and make your pockets. But for this one, um, like I said, in this, this one had, I can't remember who sent me this, absolutely gorgeous little booklet. But they had put the little tags in. But for this one, I just want to make it a little journal and spot. And then you also have then the space in the back to add a little tag in. Okay, so whoever wins this. Well, I will add all the tags and I'll decorate it up and things like that. But all I'm going to do right now is add on a little bit of lace, this crochet. Wrong, oh, wrong glue. A little bit of the crochet trim. And I want one, two three vintage buttons oops and we'll have one two 
Ja. That looks cute. Okay. Then turn it over, open it up. And we're going to quickly do these insides. This back page, um, I done as a pocket. I had a doily, so we'll just tear a piece of doily and add that on so like I said this is really just interpretive you can change these ideas any way you like this is just showing you how I decorated it up that's going to go there the torn piece of doily and then I'm going to quickly Add a little stamped image. And I'm going to use um, the Always Artichoke Stamping Up pad because I love this colour. It's a really vintage colour. And I'm just going to stamp that on here. Like that, really roughly. So this piece I'm going to make a pocket but first of all I want to add some pom pom trim and I'm just going to go in with the green again and I don't want a whole piece, we'll go for three I don't like that, but that's not. Just add a wee bit here at the bottom and add a wee bit of pom pom trim here, and then the pocket. Just get the piece of card that you've been using. it, measure it roughly like that, glue it down the three sides like that and I'm just going to, I've got some torn pieces of graph paper and um, coffee dye paper that I had left over from the last one and I'm just going to collage these on roughly just tearing bits off like that and then we'll have this one This video has actually turned into quite a, a craft with me instead of a tutorial, really. So we've got that piece there. I'm going to have, well, before I do that, actually, I'm going to take my stencil and just stencil. Paul, you can't, you're trying to get me? Hi. Two seconds, guys. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so just keep stenciling over the whole page like that. Actually, that needs inked up. That should have been done before I put it on, but it's alright. I'll just ink it up. So, then I'm going to add a wee piece of crochet onto there, like that. And another wee piece on the top. <clears throat> and then another vintage button, just go with this sort of 
Wait, which one do you want? There they are. So that gives you your pocket that you can put your decorated tags in, like that. Obviously, I'll change the, the string and stamp it up and things. And then here I need something, so I'm going to add a wee bit of pom pom trim. There. Along the bottom there. And I've got these little um, cameos that Kim sent me. <clears throat> I'm going to use one as a wee tuck spot. But again, you can use just a little bit of card or an embellishment that you've got. I'm going to use a wee bit of glue and just glue it down edge and the bottom and pop that on there so that gives you a little tuck that you can tuck things in and in the original I popped in oops go away I popped in these little photographs in there so that is that page now before I forget on the inside of this bit on here on the original you'll see I had this little pocket but I don't have any more of them but I do have this little sort of card envelope bag so I'm going to pop that on there so I'm just going to decorate it up slightly and then we'll go with a piece of ephemera Bird, maybe or that's quite nice. I think we'll go with both. We'll go with the flower, this one. And then I'm going to go with a bird, wee robin. It's funny, people always associate robins with Christmas, but we get them all year round, so pop that on there. And then I'm going to take my ink pad and just ink around the edges. Like that. And that goes on the inside here. And I'm only going to put it round the three edges because I'm going to leave this open as a pocket. I'm going to pop that there. So then down the back of that you can add another tag, which I will do when I'm off camera. I'll add one inside and over the top. So that is there. And then lastly, your inside page, I wanted to make it into like a little pad now. I don't have any of my coffee dyed paper left. I actually need to buy some copy paper and do it all. But I do have some of my stained graph paper. So I'm going to rip it into three. That gives us three. This one. Four, five. Oh, I've got four out of that one. I've got those, and then I've got one of my appointment sheets. I'm just going to fold that in. Now, before I rip that, what I'm going to do is make sure I have these all at the same height. Like that measure where I need it and then just rip the bottoms off but then I throw them away because you can use them on your next project so that will go there and then that is going to fold up like that to give me my pad and then all I'm going to do 
take my stapler, open this up, and you can use your coffee dye, you can use any paper that you like, and that's just going to sit in there like a wee pad, so you've got some journaling space. I'm going to use my glue and glue it right along the back, and use quite a lot of glue here because you're gluing over your staples, so plenty of glue, and then just pop that down on there. And the last thing I'm going to do is put my piece of doily, tear it, now I will go ahead and decorate this more off camera, I will add in my tags um, and finish it, I'm just going to take my stencil there's no need for you to watch me doing my, you know, making the tags and things because everybody decorates them differently. So all I'm doing is going over papers and adding in some stenciling just to tie it all in and make it cohesive. Just a wee bit on each page. These are nice. I think they're really nice wee gifts. Really nice for keeping your memories in. Okay, so I've done that. And then all I'm going to do across the top of the pad to hide the staples is add on some fabric. But I have ran out of that crochet that I was using. So let's see what else I've got. Um... That's nice, but it's quite white, but that's alright because I can go over it with my inks. This is a beautiful bag of lace that Becky from Becky's Crafts and Goodies sent me. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, there's tons of this. I'm going to use a piece of this one. Scissors. Cut it off. But before I do that, I've got a wee piece of this sticky sticker left that I'm just going to rip. Add on some glue. Put that on so it's squint. And um oh that's came off of there. That's supposed to be on there. Add on my piece of fabric. And that can just go right over the staples like that and then that folds up and that folds in this folds in and that folds in like that and that is your completed folder so yeah sorry about the the, the bumbling through guys obviously you can put your journaling cards in there put another tag in the back of here fill up your envelope Fill up your pocket here, fill up your wee bag, and you can put more things in here and in your tucks and things. So that is it. So let me know what you think. Talk to me in the comments, and um, I hope you've been crafting along with me. As I said, I apologise, guys, but it is what it is. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.